How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Sekiro Shadows Die Twice for you. We're going to continue this walkthrough right where we left off. So after you kill the uh, riding horse dude, he'll give you the mechanical barrel. And if you bring it to this guy, he'll be able to upgrade your prosthetic tool. Uh, though it does take scrap iron and gunpowder. Uh, right now I can only afford to upload the firecracker, but I actually want to save and uh, save up my money for the spinning shuriken because it helps on a boss later on. I don't really need the spring-loaded firecracker right now, but look at all these available skill upgrades. Like, that's insane. That's insane. There's a lot of different upgrades there. All right, so where we're going to go next is the Harada Estate. And the Harada Estate can be accessed right here at this prayer idol uh, by using the little bell thing that we got. I don't know where it is. Right here, the Young Lord's Bell Charm, which we got in the Ashina outskirts from that one lady who thought we were her son. Refer to episode one if you don't have this, because that's where we got it. And uh, actually, uh, after we warp... Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt that dude. After we warp, I'm actually going to warp back to uh, where we fought the horse boss because there's a gourd seed that we can easily get and a prayer bead that we can easily get, and that will make our fourth prayer bead. So getting our fourth prayer bead will actually allow us to upgrade our vitality, which is our health, and it also upgrades our posture a little bit, I believe. Three years ago. So this is actually in the past. This is what happened um, in the Harada Estates. All right, so go ahead and grab the idol real quick. But before we head on here, um, let's actually travel back to Ashina Outskirts, Ashina Castle Gate Fortress. Just trust me, you're going to want to do this. The Gourd Seed will give us an extra heal from our Gourd, and like I said, the Prayer Bead will increase our health. And they're both very easy to get. The Gourd Seed you have to purchase from a shop. It costs 1,000 Sen, so if you don't have 1,000, you're going to have to do a little bit of grinding. Um, I've been doing a little bit of grinding on this guy in the background uh, without showing you guys, but as you can see, I actually have 12 skill points that are unspent. So I have a lot of skill points that I can actually um, use, um, but I'll show you what I'm saving those for uh, once we get to that point. So just go ahead and grapple up here to the right. Uh, we can go ahead and kill this guy. And let's go ahead and kill the other guy over here. Hope you guys are enjoying the walkthrough. This game is absolutely fantastic. I love it. So let's go ahead and drop down where we fought the boss. I guess we could have just warped to that idol right there, but whatever. Um, we're going to go ahead and swing a right and go up these stairs. Dead person with a pink shirt on right there. Um... Just keep swinging a right. Let's go pick up the item over here. Just a ceramic shard. And then this is where the shopkeeper is that sells the gourd seed. Hopefully I have enough money. Oh my gosh, I only have 300. Alright, so I might have to sell. Let's go ahead. I'm going to have to sell everything I have. I'm going to sell my soul to get this. Alright, I'm going to sell 10 fistfuls of ash as well. Okay, now I have enough money. <laughs> Let's go ahead and buy the gourd seed. Also, guys, um, some of you might be wondering what's the point in purchasing the light coin purse and the heavy coin purse since they actually cost a little bit more than they're worth. And the reason you would do that is because it's like banking your gold. Uh, when you die, you lose half of your gold that you have on you. But if you buy these coin purses with your gold, 
you actually won't lose the gold when you die because you can always just sell the, the coin purse. So these are actually very useful to purchase, especially if you end up dying a lot. All right, so that's all I wanted to purchase from him. We got the gourd seed. And then to get the prayer bead, go ahead and enter the building that's right next to the shop. We can go ahead and talk to Tengu here. He's a friendly NPC. He thinks we're a rat at first. A one-armed wolf, I like it, which means Sekiro. That's what I shall name you. Who are you? I am Tengu of Ashina. Come, Sekiro. Care to hunt some rant rats with me? Rats have snuck into Ashina, scurrying like they own the place. There are all kinds of rats out there, and they must be cut down, every last one of them. It seems you have a talent for killing. Allow me to help you hone that talent. What will it be, Sekiro? Will you hunt rats with me? Yes. Very well, excellent. You'll need this if you're with me, Sekiro. Alright, so the rats are little short bamboo hat dudes in Sekiro, or I mean in uh, Ashina Castle. So. Uh, we're gonna go hunt those, and they will, uh, we can bring back after we kill them, and he'll actually give us some new abilities and whatnot. Let's go ahead and open this door. Just opens up the shortcut, though probably never use it, but maybe you will. Uh, we can talk to this old lady, but she doesn't really tell us anything useful. Okay, so the prayer bead, you're going to want to go up these stairs. See, whenever I'm in this room, I feel like I'm playing Bloodborne and I want to pull out my torch. Any of you guys miss the torch from Bloodborne? All right, there's a nice light coin purse. Those are very nice. Just go ahead and grapple on up. We're going to walk along the beams all the way over here. And we should be able to grapple somewhere else. Where am I? Hold up. Where's the grapple point? I know it's in here. Up oh, there it is. Alright, and then from here you're going to want to walk onto this middle beam. Just walk all the way to the end and uh, turn around and jump twice and you should be able to get up here. And this will bring us to a secret chest with a prayer bead. Very, very useful item, which will boost our max health. If I could grab it, there we go. Got prayer bead. Sick. All right, so that's all there was up here that I wanted to show you guys. So now let's go ahead and head to Harada Estate. We can just quickly run down here. Run through all the fence while we're at it. <laughs> all right. Up ahead is Harada Castle. We're not going to do that area quite yet. Harada Estate. Um, I actually wanted to go to Harada Estate before we even fought Genyu, but uh, you know, you definitely don't want to skip Harada Estate before going to Harada Castle because it's just you just shouldn't. It gives you more prayer beads. It gives you a lot of stuff. Oh, actually, uh, let's head back to Dilapidated Temple so we can upgrade our gourd. I forgot we got to give the gourd seed to Emma. We can upgrade our health from any idol, but to do the gourd, you have to bring them to, I to uh, Emma. Got to take a sip of my tea while I play some Sekiro. Okay. Emma, let's go. Talking about the dragon rot, which happens every time you resurrect too many times. All right, healing gourd increased. I don't have any more. All right, see you later. So I think we have, what, three on this guy now? Let me see. Actually, let's, let's enhance our physical attributes with the prayer beads. Watch our health bar go up. Boom, look at that. It goes up maybe like 10%. Maximum vitality and posture have increased. Sick. Okay. Now, let's go to Harada Estate. Finally ready to start. Are you guys hyped? This place is uh, not too hard. We're going to get two prosthetic 
arm upgrades. We're going to get the flame cannon and the axe. Both are pretty good. Um, we're going to get another prayer bead. At least two or three prayer beads, actually. And there is a tough boss at the end. But we're probably going to save the tough boss for next episode. So just go ahead and grab the pellet right at the beginning there. And this is a very uh, wet area, raining a lot. And there's also a river that we're going to be swimming in looking for some goldfish. Um, that island down there that's right above my head, uh, that's important. There's a dude there with a, in, inside a blue pot. You can buy things from him if you give him the goldfish scales. Um, there's a lot of uh, fire attack enemies in this place. So if you have anything that can stop fire um, attacks or anything like that, go ahead and get that in your hot bar. I'm not too worried about it, though. Go ahead and jump down. You can grab onto these bran branches as you fall so you don't take damage. And we'll just grab a fistful of ash there. Um, go ahead and talk to this dude. He thinks that he's your father, I think. Or no, no, no. No, he doesn't. So this is uh, three years ago, right? So, sorry about that. That's my chair. Trying to get into a comfy position. Okay. Uh, let's just go ahead and drop down. Uh, mm, should we kill these guys first? It doesn't really matter. We can uh, drop down here. We're going to have to kill these guys eventually. Swing a left, and I think there's an item back here. Grab a dowsing powder. I think that's what you can use to get the fire damage off. All right, so let's just go ahead and fight this guy. And we'll take this guy out. So you're not doing a very good job uh, guarding the bridge, man. Hey, bud. Neither are you. Shurikens work really, really well against dogs, if you didn't know. They pretty much just one-shot them. Alright, we can kill this guy as well. Alright, so that pretty much... Oh yeah, oil. Oil is good on some bosses. You can throw the oil on them and then they burn a little bit more. Alright, so before we go any further, let's just go ahead and, and we're going to jump in the water because we want to look for some goldfish. You can swim really fast in the water just by tapping the circle or B if you're on Xbox. Let's go ahead and grab the item over here. Ooh, very nice. See, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for those. You should be able to get four of those in this area. That's how many I was able to get anyways. Got another one. Sometimes they swim underwater and you have to like wait for them to respawn, so just be careful about that. Let's go ahead and kill this guy. He's kind of hiding out over here. Let's grab the treasure in the boat. If I can get in the boat. Should be some more goldfish swimming around. Sometimes if you like click with your uh, lock on ability, it'll lock onto them even though you can't see them. It can be a helpful way to find them. So I just keep clicking with that. Let's just keep looking around in the water. There's one. Oh my gosh, this one's gonna be tough to get. I think he swam away. Yeah, he's gone. Dang it. He'll come back, he'll come back, don't worry. And I see another one over there. If we're, if we're careful, maybe we can... Okay, apparently the shurikens don't work well on the fish. Nice. The coin purse is very nice. Ah, so he despawned again. Um, if it takes a while for them to respawn, you can always just uh, reload the area and get the uh, carp scales. But basically, talk to this guy in the pot. Um, the best thing that you can get from him is probably the floating passage text. 
but you're not going to have enough carp scales right now to get that. Um, the rest of the stuff you don't really need. Um, the, the mask fragment, I'll be honest, I have no idea what this does, but seeing as it costs the most out of everything, even more than a combat ability, I'm assuming it's pretty important, but but yeah, that's where you get that. It's too bad my my fish despawned, man. That's Oh, there's one. I see it. Oh my gosh. They're so hard to kill sometimes. Ugh. There we go. Oh, how did I not kill him? There we go. Got another one. Alright, there's one more that I should be able to get. And this one is the hardest one of all because he likes to swim deep in the water. If you're having a hard time getting the goldfish to respawn, just try running like really far away and then run back. Usually that'll respawn them. There should be one. There he is. Got him. All right, so we got all four of the goldfish that you can get in this area that I'm aware of anyways. So let's go ahead and continue on to the Harada estate. Oh, come on, man. We're gonna go right through the front doors. Actually, we can go over the front doors if you'd rather. And there's an idol right over here on the left. We can go ahead and grab really quick. Uh, just be careful because there is a guy patrolling right down the main hallway right here. Let's see. I'm actually gonna... Mm. Um, trying to decide which one of these I actually want to get. We have a lot of uh, skill points to spend, so we might as well just uh, unlock some of these. I'm going to go ahead and unlock this one here, which will allow us to hold more spirit emblems. This one is a really, really useful uh, ability. It basically means that every time I do a death blow, it'll recover some health. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that one as well for five points. And I'm going to save uh, my other skill points because... Uh, you'll see. You'll see. Okay, so this is the Harada State main area. Um, I've cleared this place out like 20 times. This is actually where I was grinding my levels. So what I would do is I would uh, warp to that idol. I would just clean out these guys in the middle. There's a few guys here. There's also an archer behind that uh, corner right above my head. And then I would hop over this wall right here and clear out those guys as well now you see that big bonfire over there above my head that bonfire is where you get the prosthetic arm tool uh, to upgrade the flame cannon and then there's also a little temple over in that area uh, yeah I think it's over in that area somewhere where you can get the uh, loaded axe all right so this area um, there's a lot of items so let's just go ahead and drop down here um, it's possible I'm gonna miss an item because there's just so many in this area, but oops Don't want to do that. I'm gonna do my best to try and get them all Let's go ahead and grab Unga's sugar All right, so let's let's jump up the wall here. We should be able to kind of get a sneak attack on some of these guys Killed the uh, archer right there. We'll grab that item in a minute. These two guys can be kind of tough. Um, I kind of want to get them from above. Let's see if I can do that. Got one of them. And by the time that guy gets back, we can already grab this item here. So that, yeah, you don't want to go in through that way, because that's where everybody's, like, looking at you. Oh, calm down, bro. Calm down. Alright, we're actually going to 
swing up here if we can get up here. And we're going to drop down right here. Should be an item right here too. Oop. Trying to pick up the item, not hug the wall. There's an archer, there's the flame guy, and inside the house, there's another guy. We can actually jump over this little wall. All right, we're gonna fight these guys. I was gonna stealth kill them, but... Guess not. All right, we can't jump up there. Just take your time clearing out these guys. There's no rush. No rush. Watch out for this guy. If you try to get the item, I think that guy's actually hiding like right here, waiting to backstab you. Typical Dark Souls type of gimmick. I recommend taking out the archer first almost every time you, you have a situation like this. Alright, so these guys are all cleared out, I think. Now, we're getting pretty close to where we can get the, the good items. The items we came for. Alright, yeah, this next area. That's the, uh, the burning area is the prosthetic flame cannon thing. Let's go get the item down here. Oh, hi, doggy. <laughs> Dog through the window there. Wow, and I killed it through the window. Ow. Alright, this is not the way I wanted to do this area. So I'm gonna stealth and see if we can... How does he know where I am? I'm gonna stealth for a minute and see if we can reset their aggro. Alright, they're calm now. Some of these houses you can talk in the windows and the people give you stuff too. We're gonna go in there make sure we get the items that are in this in these houses there's an archer on top of the roof right there so actually I forgot we, we need to go around the other way to take him out I always 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 recommend taking out any kind of archer enemy first before you do anything else Alright, we gotta level up there, very nice. Alright, so literally there's three guys around the fire, and there's one guy up there, and literally on the fire is the prosthetic uh, upgrade. Um, so I'm just gonna kinda run in here, guns blazing, and, and go for it, man. Uh, four guys are on the fire, never mind. Alright, we can, we can bring them back, we can bring them back. Pretty easy to, to uh, split these guys up. No need to fight the crowd all at once. There we go. Alright, we cleared them all out. Let's grab all the treasure. Be sure to grab the one on the fire, obviously. Flame barrel. Iron barrel that spews fire can be fitted to the shinobi prosthetic to become a prosthetic tool. It is difficult to control the rage-filled red-eyed, rage-filled red eyes with the power of man alone. However, a fire-based weapon could by means of resisting them. They are said to fear fire. Basically, um, if you're having a lot of trouble on the chained ogre, you can come and get this first before you fight the Chained Ogre, and you can use it on the Chained Ogre to do massive damage. Um, however, we did not do that um, in this playthrough, but, you know, 
if, if you need to, that's always an option. All right, so just checking all these buildings, make sure there's nothing in here. Don't want to skip any pellets or anything. They're all pretty useful to have. Um, go back to the bonfire area. There's a way up the side, I forgot. Back to the bonfire. Yep, we're gonna go up the cliffs up here. Can talk to this guy. Yeah, he's telling me to take the axe. Will do, my friend. about they don't open up all right so this is another whole area that we're gonna explore not no rush here let's go ahead and talk to this guy there is an idol um, right up here in the bamboo thicket, I'm pretty sure. That's a really nice item. That allows you to resurrect again. Uh, I love the bamboo forest here. We'll get the idol in a minute. I'm just kind of exploring, taking my time. I, d I did clear this place out many times, but I do forget still because it's all kind of looks the same. I hate these guys. I think that's all of them. Alright, let's grab what they were hiding, which is an Ungo, or Ungo sugar. This game is really fun if you just like explore as well. Just exploring can be fun. And up on the roof we have a light coin purse. Beautiful. Alright, this area is pretty clear, I think. Now, this temple over on the right is where the axe is. We don't take from Buddha. How many times do I have to tell you before it sinks into your thick skull? You're about to see Buddha, because... You dead. I'll take from Buddha. He doesn't mind if I have this axe for a little while. Shinobi axe of the monkey. I didn't know monkeys had axes. A heavy black iron axe used by Shinobi can be fitted to the pro Shinobi prosthetic tool. This boorish or boorish axe is used less for cutting and more for breaking things with its weight. Once the favored weapon of a Shinobi known as the bounding monkey of the sunken valley. It was lost, along with his left arm. Oof. A lot of shinobis losing arms. I, I lost my left arm too, man. Alright. So now we got both of those shinobi tools. Um, let's go ahead and clear out all the rest of the loot in this area. Make sure there's nothing behind. There is a mini boss type uh, person up ahead. Let's go ahead and jump up here. Uh, this little section is where you can talk to the people. And one of them will give you something. 
one of them will. Don't remember which one. One of them is not very nice to you. Yeah, this guy wants me. This guy calls me a traitor, so he's kind of not very nice. Right, I think this is the one where she'll give you something. Hey, antidote powder. Thank you. Alright, that's pretty much all there is over here, so go ahead and grapple on out. Um, let's keep pushing forward. Uh, actually, the guys with the shields up there are really annoying. Uh, so I'm actually going to go warp back to the dilapidated temple to equip the axe because... If, if you see guys with a giant wooden shield, the axe is really good. It just take them out in one hit, basically. So let's go ahead and warp back and equip these tools. We're getting all kinds of cool stuff in this video. <laughs> All right, let's uh, fit new prosthetic tool, man. I got two more new ones. I got the flame vent, got the loaded axe. Boom, boom, boom. And because we have these, now we have the prosthetic uh, skill tree. There's a lot of skill trees in this game. You guys will see. All right. And of course, you can press triangle to cycle through all the different ones. So I have, I'm going to go ahead and equip the axe and the flame vent. And then, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and look at those skill trees. I do have some skill points. I have almost seven. All right. So these are the prosthetic skill trees. And the ones on the bottom, I believe, have healing ability ones. Uh... These are actually all very useful, though. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna I'm gonna probably just get both of these, to be honest. Let's get this one first, the grappling hook attack. Yeah, see the the em Emma's medicine. This will increase how much healing items do, which is really useful. Um, so I'm gonna actually go ahead and. Uh, and do that boom and then this is the last one it takes five skill points now you see i had 12 skill points that's nothing in this game man some of them take a lot of skill points so that's why i say it's good to just go back to areas you've already been and just sweep them out over and over it's good to find items that you may have missed and it's also good for getting gold and it's also good for getting skill points and it's also good for just learning how to be better at the game because you attack the same enemies over and over. You start to memorize their attack patterns and just makes you a better player. All right, so I got the chasing slice, grappling hook attack. I got all this cool stuff. So I think I have to actually, yeah, I actually have to. Oh, I, I don't equip it. Oh, oh, I thought I did. Chasing slice, how do I do it? I just hit R1 after using, uh, I can do it with the shuriken and the firecrackers, okay. Yeah, I haven't really used the chasing slice that much, so. All right, sweet, so now that we have all of that, um, let's go ahead and travel back to Harada Estate Path. Right, and we're just gonna blow right through the uh, main corridor. I'm not gonna do any of the side uh, sections again. But if you want to grind skill points, go ahead and do it. Go ahead and kill all the guys again. There's no rush. No rush. If you try to rush through this game, you're going to end up getting obliterated eventually because you're going to be such so weak. You're going to have such low attack and health, and the guys will just absolutely destroy you. So, all right. So now that we're back, I don't know how I missed that item. Um, let's just go ahead and kill these guys.
Okay, now we can go up here. I'm gonna get the loaded axe out because it's really useful. And I miss, of course. I should probably heal, huh? Alright, now we're back to where we are. So... Just kill this guy, he's pretty simple. These dudes, you just want to use your axe, break the shield, and then they're one shot. Without the axe, they're actually pretty hard. Go ahead and grab all that. Just looking to see if there's any goldfish down here, man. I want to find more goldfish. I'm always on the hunt for those. I don't see any. Always be looking for those goldfish, man. Oh, come on. Alright, so once you make it past all of those guys, which you can just run by them like I did, or you can use the actual loaded axe and break their shields and stuff, and that kills them pretty good too. Um, we're going to have to clear out this camp up here that has some guys over on the right and maybe like one or two guys down here before we fight the dude in the middle. Alright, we took him out. Let's see if we can take these guys out real quiet. Alright, before we fight this guy, let me grab this item here too. I don't want to fight him quite yet. Um, let's actually run away. Run away! Because if we can get a sneak attack on him first, it'll make it a lot easier. Maybe if I jump over here, he'll calm down. There are some secret locations uh, that way. But before we do that, I want to kill this guy. He still sees me? Are you kidding me, dude? Well, if you can get him to reset, um, it's pretty easy to get a, a, a sneak attack on him. I'm just going to jump down here. You know what? Screw it. Maybe he'll reset if I'm way over here. All right, you know what? Let's jump down into the water. That'll for sure make him reset. And we can go ahead and grapple up here. Let's explore a little bit, shall we? Gotta hate the camera in this game sometimes. I'll kill you all if I have to. I just want to go in this cave. Ah. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is, I don't actually want to go up there quite yet. It's actually the way forward. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Yeah, I don't want to go up there quite yet. So let's take the path to the left here. Um, if you're crouching and you and you see a path 
to the left, I think. Yeah, right here, there's actually an item right there you can grab. Now, there's a couple uh, enemies down here that are similar to the mini boss we're going to fight, and they have thrusting attacks. So, what you want to do is try to do a neutral dodge on them, and that will counter their thrust attack. If this guy will walk all the way up here, that would be great. Maybe we can get a sneak attack on him. Let's wait for him to turn around, man. We'll get a critical strike on this dude. If he'll turn around... There it is. And there should be another one. Of course he's looking right at us. Dodge that, or I did the counter or whatever. That got me another level. Very nice. Oh, bulging coin pours. Heck yeah. Let's go ahead and grab these items right here. Very nice. Very nice. Alright, I don't think there's anything else in this area unless I'm blind. So, um, we can go ahead and head back. Let's go kill that guy now. Shall we? Yeah, we're gonna go in here and jump all the way up that little... The only problem with coming up here is... I wanted to go kill that mini-boss first. But... Looks like we're gonna have to rest. Actually, I don't have to rest. All right, we got the idol, and I'm not going to rest because there should be a guy up here, by the way. If we rest, it'll respawn all the enemies. Yeah, this is the next part, which I'm not going to do quite yet. I want to save this part for uh, the next video. Ah, here we go. Alright, this is the way back. Alright, so now that we've taken out all of his guards, this guy will be a lot easier if we stealth kill him and take out half of his health first. I should probably heal up before we attack him, though. He's not too special, just basically regular type of enemy, just stronger. And he has those thrust, thrust attacks, which you can counter pretty easily with neutral dodge. As soon as he turns around from admiring the flowers, we are going to take him out. Oh, 
I dodge? Come on, man. Are you kidding me, dude? That was absolutely horrible. There it is. Gonna break his posture really quickly doing that. And then that'll give us a prayer bead. This guy is optional, so if you don't fight him, you don't have to, but I highly recommend doing it because the prayer beads make this so much easier. And now that he's gone, we can go ahead and continue straight through here and grab this idol. And before we rest, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and come up here. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and rest. Let's go ahead and rest. Might as well heal up. All right. Not too much further now, guys. Uh, I guess we can go up here. Let's see what's up here. A little side route. Stop backing up. Side route's much easier than the front path. You can just go backwards and take them all out this way. Just like that. Watch out for all of these archers. I would recommend spamming the dodge button. And they are all dead, I think. We didn't even catch the attention of the big fat guy. Which is a good thing. So next time he walks up here and walks back, we can just go ahead and backstab him if we want. Here he comes. So I'm just going to run away now and he will reset eventually. And once he resets, uh, we can just go right behind him and backstab him. There we go. And now the only thing between us is a couple shield guys, which are really easy. Once you have the axe. See any goldfish? Nah, me either. Here we go. So this was three years ago, apparently. My dad died three years ago. Gives me the hidden temple key, which you use to access a boss a little bit up ahead. Sorry if there's a loud noise in the background, guys. Uh, dude mowing my lawn right now. All right. Goodbye, Dad. I wish I could have gotten to know you a little more before you died. 
and you get a nice view of an epic burning place. We're gonna go ahead and take this side route here. And drop right on down. that healing ability after every single execution. So useful. Alright, so go in this little tunnel area and go ahead and jump up here as we've already done. And that's gonna pretty much be the end of the episode, guys. Um, that place can be definitely confusing, so if you get lost a little bit, not a big deal. Just keep looking around. There's no rush in this game. Like I said, the more you explore, the more you level up and whatnot. So I only have one prayer bead right now. That's not a big deal. We did upgrade our vitality in this video, so that was pretty sweet. I'm going to go ahead and travel back to Dilapidated Temple now that we have finished this leg of our journey. Next episode, we're going to be fighting the drunkard guy and lady butterfly there's a mini boss and a boss back to back pretty much in the next episode and a uh, secret chest area um, with a prayer bead as well i could show you in the next video all right guys so um let's just recap um let me see if i can level up any skills so we went to Harada Estate, we got the prosthetic upgrades, we got some skills we could purchase here. I uh, kind of want to save up for this one, but hmm, not really sure. What do you guys think? Should I just save up my skills? Hmm, kind of want to. I don't really think I need these as much. Anyways, guys, hope you're enjoying the walkthrough. If you are, please go ahead and drop a like. Be sure to subscribe for more Sekiro content. As always, guys, this is Lucian Sword. I will see you in the next video. Take it easy, dude.